there was a decree already in place. So before Moses even came on, before Moses was born, there was a decree already in place. So when Moses was born now, the reason why they went to hide him was because of the decree that was already in place. This decree would have wiped out Moses. And that was why they were hiding him. And then eventually when they realized they couldn't hide him anymore, they put him by the riverside, hoping you know, something good would happen with him. But they could no longer keep him. But thank God that whatever the decree was supposed to do to Moses, or however it's supposed to affect Moses, it did not affect him. Now, the reason why I put this in our discussion is this. That the evil who here is Pharaoh. And this evil who had already made a decree, an existing decree, that will affect all the sons. Now, I want to pause by saying this. That some of you, under the sound of my voice, what you are going through right now was done, the evil who, by somebody before you, somebody that has been there maybe generations ago, that already made a decree. And there is an existing decree that now you are born into it and is affecting you. Sometimes they have made this decree about your family line. And they say that everyone that comes from the Akogen family, that's my last name, they will not be this, they will not be that. And so when you are born, you not knowing what degree has been placed or has been made. And sometimes mo most of our parents don't know nothing. Most of our parents, they even make it worse because they take you to some demonic places. And may I tell you this, that if you are going to the psychic, you are only making your problem worse. If you are going to the Obia man, you are only making your problem worse. Amen. If you are going to the voodoo man, you are only making your problem worse. If you are going to the revivalist and to, to the spiritual baptist or to the white garment places, you are only making your problem worse. Come to Jesus. Jesus said, come to me all you that live and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. But our parents, they are usually ignorant of these existing decrees that have been put in place. When they were rejoicing that they had you, what they didn't know is that there was also an existing decree, an existing curse that also automatically latched onto you. If they knew any better, they would have been praying for you, breaking those curses. In some cases, curses that passed through them to you. They would have broken that off of you. But what do they know? Instead of breaking it off of you, then they take you to some demonic place and yes. dedicate you more to Satan. Yes. Hallelujah. I pray for you that any demonic dedication that exists in your life, I command you to break off your life right now. In the name of Jesus. I say any demonic dedication, I command you to break off your life in the name of Jesus. Every demonic dedication, I break it off of your life. In the name of Jesus. That was a lady I was praying for. In St. Albans Queen, she had been dedicated to Saint Anne. Jesus. And those of you who have saints in your pocket, throw out that saint. Amen. That dead thing that you have in your pocket is a demon you have in your pocket. It's not no saint. It's a demon. Jesus. See, I have Saint Anne. What, what is it? Saint what? Tell me. Saint Michael. Saint Michael. Yeah. Which other one? <laughs> that you have in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> throw away all those things. They cannot help you. Amen. Do you know that in the Bible, do you know who the saints are in the Bible? The saints are Christians in the Bible. You say, oh, I, I, I salute the saints in, in such and such city, in such and such city. We, the children of God, saved people. If you are born again tonight, you are a saint. Amen. Nobody needs to do any special ceremony and install you somewhere and all that stuff. Those are all demonic. It is not in our Bible. That's right. That's right. Amen. And people have saints that they are carrying around. So this lady, I was praying for her, and she had been dedicated to Saint Anne. And I began to pray and cancel all that dedication. And Saint Anne began to cry. Jesus. Literally, Saint Anne started crying. She said she had heard St. Anne crying. But she became free from St. Anne. Yeah. Whatever saint you have been dedicated to, I decree that you become free now in the name of Jesus. So that you can be free 
free indeed. Jesus said, He will set you free. The Son will set you free, and you'll be free indeed. Amen. It is Jesus that set free, not Saint Anne or Saint anybody. Amen. Hallelujah. For some of you, those evil dreams you've been dreaming, the moment you part ways with Saint this, you'll see how things will change for you. Yes, Lord. But because you've been holding on to saints, you don't know what you're holding on to. Those are familiar spirits. They are demons. You're holding on to demons. Get rid of them. So that you can be free. And after I prayed for this woman, she became free from Saint Anne. Hallelujah. There are pre-existing decrees. There are generational curses that affect many people's lives. And some of you, you look at your life and you see certain evil trend and you don't understand. Somebody I was talking to this past week and they were telling me about their family. How nobody, literally, this lady was telling me that they all have some kind of woman issue, reproductive issue, some kind of cancer issue, all have to do with uterus, ovary, stuff like that. And that she looked at everybody, nobody, He's married. Everybody has children out of wedlock. All the women. So she called me because she said, I'm realizing that God is showing me that this is a curse in our family. But there are many people under a curse, generational curses, but they don't know because they are ignorant of these things. They go to church. They may lead song or lead Sunday school or do all kinds of stuff, but they are ignorant. And this problem persists in their life. I pray for you tonight that every generational curse in your life, whatever pre-existing decrees that is working against your life, that those things will break off your life right now. In the name of Jesus. We are talking about the evil who. And that evil who may be your grandfather that, that, that place a curse. Believe it or not, sometimes these curses are even from your own family. Or it could be enemies of your family that place a curse and they say, this family, because they took this from me at some times. Some of those curses are lawful. What do I mean by lawful? Because your great grandfather went to kill somebody. And the family where they kill somebody from, they say, You, because you kill our daughter or whatever, or because you did this atrocity, maybe you raped somebody, because you did this, all your children, they will never have good marriages. And then you begin to see that all the children indeed never have good marriages. And because many of us don't take time to actually really research our family. Like you may know, okay, I have Uncle this over there, Uncle that over there, but do you really pay attention? Ask Uncle this. Okay, so what's your life like? And you begin to compare notes. Wait, Uncle this, you have this. Papa this, you have that. Okay, why is it all negative and the same thing going on? We don't do that. Many of us have never done that. I dare you to do that, and you'll be surprised some of the things you begin to find out. But what it will help you to do is to know the kind of curses you need to begin to pray against in your own life. Because until those things are broken, your life will not work. Hallelujah. In some cases, areas of your life work and some other areas don't work. But tonight we have come to receive victory over them in the name of Jesus. There was a pre-existing decree Sometimes you get born into pre-existing decree. Sometimes you move into a geographical neighborhood that has a pre-existing decree. Hmm. Let me tell you something. In Brooklyn, there was a particular block in Brooklyn. I can't remember that block now. But there was a church there. I've been to that church. That church, for the time they were there, that church never prospered on that block. The owner of that store that rented it to the church, yes. he has stores elsewhere. But this particular store on that block never do well. He will take products from this store and take it to the other store to sell them because they will not sell on this block. So he knew that something is wrong with this block. And then the, 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 the overseer of that particular church is a prophet. And he was in town from Africa. In that church one time ministering. And he said, 
Uh, Pastor, move out of this place. Why? This block is cursed. Can you imagine that you are in such a place? On Linden Boulevard, there is a particular store I know. Since I've been paying attention, at least five businesses have moved in and out. I went to my barber one time, and my, my barber said, on that side of the street, there is a curse there. <laughs> because all the stores, they never do well. Funny enough, move the same store from that side of the, that side of the street to this side of the street, and it's doing well. God knows who, what, who got mad at who and said to you, oh, every, 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 every store you own in this place, he will never do well. And even though that guy has sold a business or sold a building to another person, that curse is still there. Wow. If a curse is on somebody, it doesn't matter if they move from place to place. You know, sometimes you think, okay, maybe it's just New York. Maybe New York is just too hard. Let me go to North Carolina. If there is a curse on you, going to North Carolina will not fix it. What you need to do is to break the curse. Yeah. And tonight we are here to break the curse. Yeah. And every curse upon your life, I break it in Jesus' name. Yeah. Every curse working against your life, I break it in the name of Jesus. Every curse at work against your life, I command it to break by fire in the name of Jesus. Whatever curse is working against your health, I command it to break in the name of Jesus. Whatever curse is working against your finances, I break it down in the name of Jesus. I pray for you tonight that any curse that is working against your ability to get a job, against your ability to fill the job, I command it to break by fire. I command it to break by fire. I command it to break by fire. Every curse at work against your life, I destroy them right now. In the name of Jesus, every curse working against your children, I command it to break. Every curse working against your career, I command it to break. Every curse working against your business, I break it. In the name of Jesus, every curse anywhere working against any area of your life, I command it to break by fire. 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 Somebody shall 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 fire. 